Hey my fools, randomly Oni C here. So you may have been watching a music video or a TV show or maybe even a vlog and you notice that they split the screen in three or five different videos were playing and you were like me wondering how did they do that? So I wanna help you accomplish the same effect in your video, the split screen effect. So of course we're starting with a clean slate and importing our clips. I have three video clips here. The first one's there and I'm including the audio from the second video. So now we have all of our clips here and we're just gonna drag everything on top of each other and make sure that they align. So of course when we play the video back you will only see one video playing and what you want to remember is that these are pretty much layers. So that first layer there is the first video and that's what you see on screen. All the other videos are playing at the same time but you can't see them because they are behind the first video. So what we need to do is go up to effect controls panel and kind of change things. So we're going to play with the position of the video and when you see there it doesn't really look that great so we need to change that we need to figure out what exactly we want to see and where we would like this particular video to play so i'm going to go over to the effects panel and find the crop effect so then i'm going to go ahead and apply crop to all of the videos so once we have our crop effect there on all of the clips, it's time to start maneuvering and moving things around. So we're gonna work on this first clip here, going back over to our effect controls panel. We're gonna remove a bit of the right side. So now you see a bit of the video that is underneath on the second layer, so that second video. And this is still not where we want that video to be, so you kinda have to continue playing with the values over there um, with the crop effect and moving the video where you would like it to be. So for myself, I want this video to be right down in the lower left-hand corner. So I'm changing the value of the scale just to bring the video to where I want it to be as far as the size. And I'm just moving it over manually with my mouse, tracking it over to the bottom left corner of the screen. So when I play it back, I notice that I can still kind of cut a little bit there. So what I'm gonna do is just go back over to the effect controls and cut a bit of the top of this video. And it's just the way that I like it. So now I can move on to the second clip and that's the layer that's right under the first layer. I really just want to show him. So I don't need the left side of him and I don't need the right side of him because that left side is underneath that video anyway. So let's go ahead and chop off that left side and do the same to the right side. So you'll notice that you can see the third video, the third layer peeking through. So what we need to do is go ahead and move that second video to where we want it to be. And I'm gonna move it to the far right side just by changing the position. Or you can move it manually with your arrow. I suggest using the motion in the effect controls part because with the arrow, you tend to move it up and down and move it out of the way. With the motion, with the position, you're able to move it up, down, right where you want it to move. So we see that third video peeking through there and obviously it doesn't look that great. We need to move it. So go ahead and click that video. Make sure you always click what you want to work on. And we're gonna do the same thing, mess with the position. So I'm just dragging it up make sure that that car is really in the view. We have that space in between here. We're just gonna go ahead and get rid of that by changing our values with the crop tool. So you see there's a big gap in there. So I wanna go ahead and just move really quickly and change that bottom picture, bring out that right side a little bit and just drag the picture on over. So we do have that space right in between, but it's okay for now. That car up there is, it looks okay, but we still wanna put it like a little bit more in the view. So we're just going to do the same thing, mess with the position and just drag it over a little bit. Once we play the video back, we see that we're kind of liking it. It's to our liking things flow pretty well together. So now of course we need to make the bar. So you wanna go over to your essential graphics panel and create a new rectangle. So that's what we're going to use to make the line. Drag that rectangle on over to where you would like it to be and make the line. So that's just literally dragging it on down and dragging it in to fit right over where that space was. That's why I left that space there intentionally to just kind of gauge and give me an idea of where I want my split to be. And of course you'll just drag that 
line on over so that it will be there from the beginning of the video and the next thing of course we want to do is make sure that that line is completely covering that part or that portion of the video so what you want to do is zoom in so go to about 150 percent and make sure the top you can see a little bit that the line is not fully um, covering so you just want to drag it on up by double clicking that line and drag it on up the bottom is good so now we can just fit and come on back to our regular screen and we can prepare for that horizontal line so what you want to do is just pretty much copy that same line that we just created you can either double tap or right click and copy and then do command V or paste so now we have our two lines so one line is obviously going to be on top of the other line, but we need to move it to fit horizontally. So you're gonna just come back over to effect controls and we're going to mess with the rotation of that shape. And you want to get it to 90 degrees because it'll be flat. So literally just change it to 90 degrees and bring it on over. And you'll notice that the line is a little bit too short after dragging it and you'll do the same thing as you did with the first line make sure you have it selected and drag that line on out until it fully covers the portion of that video and i want to do the same thing to make sure that that horizontal line is fully covering so we're good in the center and we're good on the side but if you notice really closely there we can see a little bit of black on that bottom video so we need to fix that always go back and check your work Basically, I'm just going to mess with that position again. This time, I'm going to change the scale. So I'm gonna just enlarge that video a little bit to fully cover that box down there. Now I'm just gonna play it back a little bit and it looks good. So I want to bring those bars in and make them a little bit thinner and I'm just going in by double clicking them and dragging them in a little bit. So you can easily just stop here if you are satisfied with this or you can add in a few effects and if you want to do that then I will show you in the rest of this video. Okay so we need to apply some effects to our video so just go back over to the effects panel and find push. We're going to push the video so play it back and you'll see the bottom video pushes in. So we're going to apply that same effect to all of our clips. And then you'll notice once you play it back that everything is being pushed from the left. And the top picture and the bottom picture, that's fine, but not the right picture. We want that one to come from the top. So click that transition and then go back up to effect controls and hit the top arrow. So now that right video will push in from the top. So now that that looks good, we need to focus on our bars and we want to apply some effects to that so that they kind of like roll in with our video. So let's go ahead and click on graphic and go back over to our effect controls panel and we're going to go to our first shape. So once you click it, it will highlight what shape you're working on. Scroll down until you get to the position. So we have X and Y kind of take you back to middle school, the X axis and the Y axis. We're focusing on the Y because we are moving vertical. So I'm just bringing that play hit back to where that transition should end and I'm going to make a keyframe. So this tells me once I get to that keyframe, my line should be completely on screen. So we're gonna drag that playhead back to the beginning and change the Y axis so that that line is no longer in view. So I like to play things back, make sure that it looks good. Once we play it on back, we'll notice that it does come in pretty well together, but we still have that left line, that horizontal line that we need to bring in and put some effects to. So we're gonna do the same thing, go over to the effect controls panel. This time we're working with the X axis because we're working on it moving horizontally from left to right. Make a keyframe for where you would like that line to stop. And then we're just going to drag our playhead on back to the beginning. Drag our line back by changing the position so that the line is no longer in view at all. So of course we are going to play the video on back and I like it, it looks good. I'm just going to go back in and move my keyframe 
in a little bit closer for my horizontal line just so that it can be with the video and make it a bit smoother you can kind of change things by just moving the keyframe back and forth and also you can kind of do a little bit of tweaking to your transition times also so if you notice the video was still a little laggy so we need to ease in our keyframes the second keyframe we're easing in the first keyframe we are easing out in a previous video i discussed that i can go into detail in another video but it's pretty simple first keyframe ease out second keyframe ease in now all that's left to do is render once that's done everything is good